Yebo, yebo, yebo. Welcome to Watch Me Build It. I first became aware of San Martin watches in 2019. Jody of Just One More Watch was reviewing their 62 Mass homage on his channel. And I became aware that San Martin were going to change the AliExpress game. They were producing really good quality watches. They were asking for more money. Uh, their watch at that point was around 200 US dollars and at that point in time you usually wouldn't have paid more than a hundred dollars for a watch off of AliExpress. Well San Martin have moved the game on it's 2024 now and it's not unusual to pay north of 200 or even 300 dollars for one of their watches. Now AliExpress recalibrated our thinking with regard to watch pricing. $350 watches has been very expensive, but that's only on AliExpress. If you go to the high street, you're going to get a plastic quartz driven chronograph from somebody like Swatch for similar money. I came across a challenger. Well, I became aware of a challenger to St. Martin recently. I, I dare say there have been a few, but this particular brand is called Sea Stern. It's almost an acceptable name. It's got maritime references. They have a starfish as a logo. And then they went and spelt C S double E. I don't get it. I really don't. But their 62 mass homage is 38 mil wide. It has a ceramic bezel insert. It's got a lightly boxed sapphire crystal. It's got a loomed date wheel. It has a steel strap with female end links on the version 3. So I picked one of these up to mod for a client. But I thought before I mod it, let's have a look and show you what you're getting from Sea Stern. They also have a sister brand named Sugress. This particular watch is available in a few dial variants. Black, sunburst, grey, kind of like a sunburst white or silver, um, a sunburst blue and then a red that kind of fades to black at the edges. You can get it with a steel strap for around 240 euro or you can get it with a rubber strap for around 210 euro. I need to interrupt this video to tell you about an amazing opportunity. If you're watching between the 18th and the 28th of March 2024, AliExpress are running their anniversary sale and this watch which normally retails for around 240 euro on the steel strap is going for 138 euro so <laughs> click on the link below if you're in time and pick it up for crazy crazy money it's still very much worth the full purchase price but at 138 euro you really shouldn't let this one get away Let's flip the camera and show you what's inside the box and uh, afterwards we'll have a chat about whether it's worth picking one up for yourself. Right, so here we have the Pelican box used ubiquitously on AliExpress and once used by St. Martin. Um, well sealed, water resistant, a good way to transport a watch. Inside we've got a push pin removal tool. Um, you're going to need that to adjust the strap. The watch is in bubble wrap, we'll look at it later. There are two warranty cards in this particular box, I'm not sure why. Um, they both have unique serial numbers, and there we are. And then we have the instruction manual printed fully in Cantonese. Um, you could follow the illustrations, but other than that, not very useful. In the watch itself, it's in the case, it's in foam and now it's in bubble wrap and inside the bubble wrap there's a whole lot of plastic so they make sure your watch gets to in pristine condition but it's not useful with the plastic so we take it off without the plastic let's do some dimensions so the width of the bezel is a smidge over 38 mil 38.3 the case width is a little narrower at 37.2 lug to lug 46.4 mil thickness 13.6 and lug width of 20 millimeter a really good set of dimensions the weight of this watch size for my wrist 143 gram with all the links 156 and on a rubber strap 76 grams right we'll begin our outside in review with the clasp beautifully brushed with a beautiful logo and then a shiny keeper that's a first downside 
that keep is going to scratch the moment you look at it. It's also highly polished on the sides, but there are six positions of micro adjust. Did you see that? It opens nicely to a milled scissor section. That's well done. I think the shell is pressed and that could be better. That could be milled. Um, looking on the inside, very well finished, but there's no on the fly adjustment. So once you've found your size, you stick with your size. All in all, I think this is a convincing class, but I really do. I don't like the highly polished surfaces. Listen here. Clicks in nicely and firm. And again, firm. And then the other gripe I have is this. It's very long on the wrist. 42.7 mil. So that length and the polish bring it to a 5.5 out of 7.5. Then we'll move on to the strap, a three link strap, really well brushed. And it interfaces well with the case, although the finish on the strap and the lugs doesn't match tremendously well. It is a female end link strap and that makes all the difference on this watch. Look there, it maintains the lug to lug and it doesn't swell that lug to lug size. But you see those arrows, they mean it's a push pin strap and I think that's a problem. Why can't you just do screwed pins? They're so much easier to work with. So the push pins and the mismatch on the lug brushing bring it to a 5.5 out of 7.5. I usually don't get excited about case backs, but this one is great. It's a beautiful relief sculpture of the Kanagawa wave and a jumping starfish. We've also got other information about the watch engraved around the circumference. And I think C. Stern really did this well, and it gets a 5 out of 5. Next in the lineup are the case and bezel. This is a beautifully finished case. And this is really where C. Stern is showing that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with St. Martin. If we have a look behind the lugs, you'll see how good the finishing is here. It's a little grainy, but it's absolutely well finished for essentially a spot that you'll never see getting back to the case itself circular brushing on the lugs linear on the case sides drilled lug holes even behind the female end links is a spot that's well finished it's clear that they've taken their time to do an amazing job on this watch the crown is really pretty the starfish makes its third appearance i'm really glad they didn't put the starfish on the dial but it's a lot of fun in the way they've used it. If you're guessing, it's a 6.5 mil crown. But um, there is a problem with the crown. It's not a problem, but it's a little grainy when you unscrew it and screw it back in again. Um, the movement feels great. It's an NH35, so it's got the usual buzz to it. Um, so there is a, it loses half a mark because of the crown. Now, listen to this. That is the sound of one of the best bezels I have ever handled. No back play at all. In perfect alignment. So case and bezel score a very convincing 13.5 out of 15. Now the crystal is a very mild boxed sapphire with a very shallow dome. It gives a pleasing distortion at the edge and arcs back to vintage watches. Take a look at this photo. Can you see that milky white ring around the crystal where the ray hearts and the crystal overlap? Maybe you can see it in the shot. That's a slight distraction for me, but the dial is a beautiful matte black dial. The indices are well finished, the hands are beveled, and Sea Stern resolved one of Seiko's headaches. Where do we put the loom plot at three? Well, they just loomed the date wheel. I think C turned an amazing job of this lot. And apart from that milky white ring, which loses half a point, I'm giving 13.5 out of 15 for the crystal and the dial. For the movement score, I'm giving the usual 18 out of 20 plus 0.5 for the loomed date wheel. So it's 18.5 out of 20. Loom is a no-brainer, 10 out of 10, and here is why. Go, Seastern, go. Have a look at how the date wheel shines at the 3 o'clock position.
Come on, Seiko. Value at $240, I'm giving it 9 out of 10. At the sale price, it's 10 out of 10, but we'll stick with 9. And then the X Factor, I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. One of my favorite watches and c Stern knocked it out of the park. So there it is, the full review of the c Stern 62 Mass Homage. And this 38.5 mil diver has beaten every other watch I've reviewed with a total score of 89.5. I would recommend that you pick up a rubber strap to use on your watch because that's how the original um, came out and it really does look amazing. And it makes this comfortable watch even more comfortable. Really well worthwhile. Here's a wrist roll for you on the steel bracelet. It fits really well on my wrist. Really snug over the wrist as well. Really comfortable. And a wrist roll on the rubber strap. Even more comfortable because the strap has got some really good give to it. You can see how well it sits. And so what did you think? <laughs> I thought that was a great watch. It really was. A few downsides, um, the shiny bits on the buckle, that's going to scratch up. Uh, it looks amazing when you take it out the packaging and, and then you're done. Push pins on a strap. Listen, the cheapest watches on AliExpress are coming with screwed links. Please just put screwed links in. I don't understand why. The buckle might be a little bit long, uh, but it's really not going to, it's not the end of the world. And then we have that, the overlap between the crystal and the ray heart and the white crystal gasket underneath sort of making that milky white ring but yes you know what i'm talking about i spoke about it in the video but other than that <laughs> this is an incredible watch i think the 38 mil size is an absolute win the female end links are done incredibly well it wears so comfortably a loomed date wheel a loomed date wheel they resolve the issue that seiko don't seem to be able to resolve where do we put the loom plot on the 62 mass or do we move the date wheel <laughs> c stern just loomed the date wheel and now you have perfect symmetry in the dial i don't know if that would be iso kind of compliant but i like the way they've done it they've done an amazing job so i really would recommend this watch in every possible sense um, use my affiliate link below and pick one up for yourself while you're there have a look at c stern's doxa homages they're incredible their sister brand sugress has got some really good chronographs and i think there's a lot to be had in that store so i hope this has been helpful i hope the hands-on has answered some of your questions or scratched your itch we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>